everybody. Yeah, good morning. Can you say good morning, Nevaeh? Yeah. Nevaeh. Hello. Say good morning. She's in a world of her own. Nevaeh. Nevaeh. Can you no. say hello? Yeah. Say hello. Yeah. Say hello. Yeah. Good girl. <laughs> hello. She can say hello properly. I had a little clipping of her answering a phone last night just here. You can be able to see it. Say red phone. Hello. Hello. Mum. Hello. 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 What's your name? What? What's your name? We are all up nice and early today and dressed and ready to go. I mean, we're always up nice and early, but we're never dressed and ready to go early unless we've got somewhere to be. But Ebony woke up super early this morning. Why did you wake up super early this morning, Eb? She is. She's getting her ears pierced. So the excitement took over, which meant she was up at the crack of dawn. Six o'clock. But we managed to get our online English and maths out of the way at six o'clock in the morning because there was nothing else to do. And then once we finished online English and maths, we got dressed and we're going out to go and get Ebony's ears pierced. We're all booked in. You've been asking for your ears to be pierced for absolute ages now, haven't you? Yeah. So I, I think it was... When I'm 20. I thought you were meaning now then, I was going to say. Yeah. That's the first, because you've never mentioned having your ears pierced to me when you're 20. Okay, we'll wait until you're 20. Um, she asked in 2020, could she have her ears pierced? Ebony, I'm talking about now. And I thought she was a little too young because she was only six. So I said, maybe in another couple of years... You're a little too young. I've always wanted them for my birthday. Both of yours were always fighting all of the time. And I was worried that maybe Renee would drag her earrings out of her ears. So we said no. And then they met the friend next door during the pandemic. And she got her ears pierced for her birthday, didn't she? Yeah. And from then on, she asked every single week. Every single week. And I kept <laughs> saying, you're not ready. You're not ready. You're not ready. And then... I finally gave in, didn't I, for Christmas and yeah. said, go and get them done after Christmas. However, she had that, to take that. a COVID test, didn't you, in, yeah. was it January? Yeah. And it really hurt, didn't it? And she was like, I don't think I'm ready to get my ears pierced with a can even take a COVID test. But... And then you changed your mind again, didn't you? You said you were ready again in, was it May? No, it was May, wasn't it? Because it was March. when the, it was really hot. March. It was when the weather was really warm anyway. I messaged the PSA and said to her, you know, would she still be able to go swimming if she got her ears done? And she said, no, it, she, it's advised not to because of the bacteria. So we said, we'll wait until the cold weather, until the cold weather so we'll probably get them so, done so. closer to Christmas again. Yeah. And then on Saturday, what did they say? What, what would you like to get your ears pierced? How would you feel about getting your ears pierced for your birthday instead? And she was like, yeah. And she thought she was going to go and get them done on her actual birthday, didn't you? Yeah. And then I said to her yesterday, if I can fit you in today, if I, if I can get the lady to fit you in today, do you want to go and get them done? She was like, yeah. But the woman had no walk-ins available by the time we decided we were going to get it done. So today instead, yeah. So Ebony's all booked in with a piercing salon for in 30 minutes. So we need to start making a move. Um, we are not going for guns. Um, we are going for a professional piercer who pierces with needles. Mostly because we've seen loads of things about guns and how they're not healthy for your ear and like things can happen off them. If you have a look at her uh, Instagram, it's Tiff Piercings by Tiffany and she has all of like the facts on there about why it's bad to pierce with the guns. Especially these home ones that you can now buy on Amazon. They are, it's, it's scary that they're actually available to buy for the public, which is atrocious because, you know, they're dangerous. They get stuck in your ears and everything. So that's not a good thing. So we're going to a professional PSA. We are vlogging. We've asked Tiff if it's okay if we vlog. and um, She said, yeah, it's fine. Right, we are on our way. And typically it's started to rain. We are almost there though. So it's not too bad. Nevaeh's in the big pram today, which is so much easier to push. However, I'm still out of breath. I don't know how on earth we always manage to be late to everywhere or almost late and end up rushing when we get up so early. Honestly, I'm not great with the timekeeping thing these days. How are you feeling, Eb? Good. On a scale of one to 10, how nervous are you? One. One? That's so cool. One last look at you without your ears pierced. Ooh, beautiful. 
beautiful and then you're going to be even more beautiful <laughs> and after all that rushing around we are here early but we're going to head in because it's raining Yeah. The first thing I'm going to do, lovely, is just clean your ears, okay? Just kind of little white. Cold. I know. <laughs> Fix them all spotless and clean. Take me to move these little scraggly bits. Yeah, sorry, I'll And then the next thing is two dots, okay? These dots are going to be where your earrings sit. Okay. It's important that you're happy, okay? I don't think it's because it that more perfect to the chat. Do you have a look? Is it moving around the door? Hey, Mum. Are you happy that's where your ears are sit? Yeah. Mum, I'm going to take. Only a few seconds, don't worry. <laughs> yeah. Are happy with them? Yeah? Yeah. Let's have a look. Right. So, I've got a couple of little diamonds to use, okay? You have to leave these in for at least eight weeks, okay? Okay. And then after eight weeks, we can get you back and finish them. Yeah. So you just can change them. Okay. So, there are them, okay? Yeah. The flat back. Oh, brilliant. Um, they just allow for a little bit of length and, and swelling as well. Yeah. So I don't want it to swell where the earring's going to get swollen. I want oh, it to yeah. swell safely. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, a yeah, little bit of room on the back. Nervous. You're a little bit nervous now. Yeah. You don't need to be nervous. You'll be fine, lovely. I promise. So it looks a lot scarier than it is. Right, so this is going to go on your ear first. Yeah. Okay. This is what we call the crocodile clamp. Yeah. It just makes sure that we obviously get a straight piercing. Okay. Because we don't want your earrings to be wonky, do we? No. Okay. And then all I need you to do is take a big deep breath in. Okay. okay. And then it'll be done. Okay. We're going to start with the one on the outside for you, okay? I'll be fine, okay. Just try and stay as still as possible. Okay. Okay, this is going on your ear now. That's not take a big deep breath. Big deep breath. Now, in. Big deep breath. And out. And in. And in. And out. And out. And out. And there we go. Hold on. I'll feel that. Now she's just got to put the earring in. Can you see it? Yeah. <laughs> It stings a little bit. A little bit. Yeah. Makes your eyes water, doesn't it? You're okay. so no pain now, dear. You were a lot braver than I was when I got okay. my ears So done. there's your first one, okay? Okay. I'm just going to put your little gel on the front. Yeah, so they go in from the back and the gem ball screws on the front. Oh, brilliant. And if you have any issues, that you can message me anyway. Here we go, there's one. How brave are you? <laughs> you yeah. are so brave. Awesome. It wasn't too bad, was no. it? No. It burns a little bit. Yeah, but not much. No. I cried when I got mine done <laughs> with the gun, so it's definitely much easier, isn't it? Eh? Yeah. Right, so mum's going to swap sides. Yeah. You're doing very well. Let's just pop this up. And I'm going to flip it. And out. And the flip again. And there we go. Well done. It feels like this one stings more than that one. It's always, do, it's always right? one preferred, yeah. 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 I think as well it's because you've already had one. So your body's like, have I got to do this again? Yeah. <laughs> Look at that. Are you happy? Yeah. God. She said to me yesterday, I'm so happy I could cry. Oh, <laughs> I love that. I'm sorry, I couldn't get you some yesterday. Oh, no, it's fine. It was a last minute thing, it's a birthday next week, so we were like, do you want to get it done for your birthday? And I said, we'll get it done before your birthday. Right, I'm just going to give you the little foam spray, okay, just to make sure the queen. There we go. Do you like them? Do you like them? Do you like the earrings? You have to be careful, she doesn't pull on your ears. Yeah. Oh yeah, definitely. Okay, let me on this side. Thank you. 
Um, so ideally cleaning them, I just want you to clean them when she gets clean. So if she's getting a shower, yeah, rinsing them in the shower, yeah. Okay. Um, as long as she's no clean, sterile solution or not. Well, as long as she's clean, a person to clean. Okay. It might get crusty in between. Um, in which case you can get like a, a saline spray yeah. or a wound wash. Um, but I wouldn't go overboard with like that old TCP. Yeah, so yeah. And watch the rule on twisting them and stuff like that. Are you supposed to? Or because not? these are titanium. Yeah. Um, they won't stick to a skin because titanium is used in surgery. Ah, right. Okay. So if you need like a metal plate put on your foot, for example, yeah, it's, it's, it's titanium. Ah, right. Okay. So we know it's okay to sit in the body. Oh, brilliant. And um, so you don't need to touch them. Oh, and brilliant. If you think about it as well, you're touching the foot. Yeah, so it's not yeah. And I suppose when you you turn them, you're ripping a scab off and then exactly you're breaking, breaking the wound. Yeah. Seal, yeah. Right. Right. Do you want to have a look in the mirror? Have a look at them. Go on. Go on. Are you happy? Yeah. They are gorgeous, aren't they? And then I'll you something special. Okay. You're so brave. Do you like them? Yeah. Yeah? So sweet. Yeah. What do you say? Thank you. Well, I'm well done. Got a Oh, lovely, aren't they? Mm -hmm. You like them, don't you? Yeah. yeah. And a certificate. Well oh. <laughs> Isn't that lovely, eh? Yeah. Oh, that's Happy. lovely. Thanks yeah. so much. Gosh, so as long as you don't touch them, okay? Yeah, okay. don't play with them. In, in bed every night, try and sleep on your back if you can. Okay. okay. Um, they might feel a little bit sore throughout the day, but I guarantee by tomorrow you'll be like, what person? Yeah. Okay. So you've just yeah, got to be dead there. careful. Yeah. <laughs> Not to knock them or anything. She'll be out later like that to all of me. It's not me. I'm just going to take some pictures of you. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's fine, time. yeah. Thank you. Oh, thanks very much. No, you're very welcome, thank you. And if anybody wants any piercings done by the lovely Hi. Tiffany, it's in Impact Studios. She did it. Did she it? got them pierced. <laughs> did it hurt? No. Look at guys certificate. It says I was brave today. It does. Well done. She was so brave. I cried when I was 16 getting mine done. So you're a lot braver than I was. Yeah. I bet you can't wait to show your dad now. Yeah. Should we trick him? Yeah. And say you didn't get them done. She even gave a packet of sweets. And what are they called? Kind heart. Instead of love heart. Yeah. But they all love heart, aren't they? Yeah. And she's so happy. How are you feeling off the cold air blowing on it? Not bad. The cold air didn't even sting when she blew it on. That's good. It was like a a cleaning spray yeah. that, that you put on it. It doesn't feel like badly sting, you know? It like it was like at first when she did it in, it felt like... It's when like, you needed to take the deep breath. Yeah, like it was like bad, but it wasn't like too bad though. Yeah. She's so brave, Ab. I still can't believe how brave she was. She did so! Yay, big girl! Did you big girl. Girl. Did you not? Let's see them. Oh, I'm very crazy. Not one member, either. Not one. Pain thresholds. Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh you've put it all out for me. Did you vlog it? Yeah. Oops. You vlogged it? Yeah. Oh, well, you've yeah. got a Tesco coming from Joe this week. While the girls have a snack, I'm going to look at this haul that Joe's just sent me that he's done of the Tesco because the boys have said I am going to howl. Yeah. Is it bad? It's not bad. Okay. It's, it's a short one. I know yes. that. He said it's like five minutes and then I've added a little bit in at the end. It, he was zooming through it. Oh, gosh. Uh, and it was like the next product. Okay. Oh, okay. So, uh, yeah, that'll be interesting. You'll see that Tesco haul on Tuesday. We put every video up in delay. Our videos are never in real time. So, like, you'll never see the video that we record on the same day or a day later. It's usually a couple of days later or sometimes even a week later. We just don't ever do that. I always record in advance, edit in advance. So I don't ever get stuck with um, without any videos. So, Joe's done all the Tesco for me, which means I haven't got to do that. We've just got to finish off our learning. The girls did their English and math this morning online, didn't we, girls? Yeah. Um, the boys are yet to do this, so while you do yours, I'll do written English and maths with the girls, and then we'll do Spanish together. While we are on the subject of learning, um, somebody left us a comment saying something like, I don't believe that you teach your children 
and they'd be better off in school. This person had already left previous comments about homeschooling on the channel. They were a little overly interested um, and no matter how many times I tried to explain I wouldn't be showing the kids work online, they didn't seem to grasp it. And I think that's where this response has come from. And also because I'd said that Renee had done it online English and maths while I was at an optician's appointment with Ebony and completed her art. Because her art was something that we'd done the week before and didn't need no explaining. It was literally finishing off like the other part of the project, which was a picture with some paint and bits of paper and colouring in. She didn't need no explanation. And if, when I looked at it when we got home, if it was done incorrectly, she'd have sat and corrected it only. She'd done it perfectly. So it didn't need to. Online English and Maths is something that they do independently. We pay a subscription fee each and every month, or you can pay it yearly. Um, so they get a virtual assistant on there where they can get help if they need it. But nine times out of ten, I am around. It's only on occasions where there's an optician's appointment or a doctor's appointment when I'm not around. And if I'm not around, their dad is working from home upstairs so they can go and ask him for help. Or the boys who have also already done these things can help them because it's obviously a much lower grade than what they're working on. So after they've completed their online English and maths, we do written English and maths as well, which I teach them, and then I teach them other subjects as well. But of course, once I've taught them, you know, I've explained the lesson, I've explained what needs to be done, I don't sit next to them the whole duration while they're doing their work, otherwise nothing will get done in the house. I've got a baby, nothing will get done with her. Just like in a school, a teacher doesn't sit next to the pupils as soon as she's explained the lesson. They're left to do it independently while she goes and does other things like write on the board or clean around the classroom or go mark some books. I go off and tidy my house and do my cooking. Obviously, if they ask for help, I leave what I'm doing and go straight over and help them. But that does not mean that I am not teaching them. I just wanted to put that out there. Um, it did bother me at first, but I'm not letting it bother me no more because I never teach them. Everybody who knows us personally knows I teach them and the people who assess us every year for the past eight years and have passed us know that I teach them. I mean, they wouldn't be able to read, write or spell or do anything what they ever didn't. So yeah, I just wanted to put that out there. Um, we are going to be showing less of their learning, so I'm not going to be talking about it as much. But if I don't say, oh yeah, the kids have done their learning today, it doesn't mean that we haven't done anything, you know? They have done it, we just won't be speaking about it. A little later on now, the kids have finished all of the learning, they're just doing the reading book. I'm reading mine. She's, what are you reading, Romeo and Juliet, aren't you? Romeo So she's reading this while a platter here because she says, oh, sorry, she's poaching my yeah. ball. All of these little scraggly bits here are getting stuck around her earring at the back, is it, or at the front? It's like on the front. On the front, and when she's having to take it out, it's hurting her, so. Yeah. Um, I'm going to braid her hair for her to get it all out of the way. Why is that help Jeremy out to his feet? Come now before it's too late, he said. But Romeo did not hear him. He stared at oh, Highbolt's body and thought... You cold? Yes. Real. What, what, what are you stuck on? Realisation. So are you breaking up as real? real. Realization. Yeah, so I was trying to break it off. Like realization of what he had done. Real on that done fell on him like a wave. I have killed Juliet's cousin. He thought I couldn't love a murderer. Oh wait, no. Okay. She couldn't. Yeah. I thought it got tight around me. It's all right, don't worry. If it does, I'll, I'll fix it. He couldn't... She, it, why do I keep saying Okay, stop then. Stop again. She couldn't love a murderer. I have let myself be such a fool. Oh, I have let myself be such a fool. He was... Staring at Romeo. Oh, he was staring at Timo when Romeo was trying to get out of the building.
well that was a little turn of events um joe's sister just messaged to say um she'd been trying to ring joe because it was important because his mum's been rushed back into hospital she ended up getting out on saturday evening and she had a gp appointment today for like repeat bloods and they've sent her back to hospital because her sats levels are really low um, she's been rushed in by ambulance so joe has only got a little bit left longer in work now and then i think he'll be heading back up to hospital to be with his mum oh, now well 10 past four and um, joe's finished work at five he'll be heading up to hospital so i'm gonna try and get something cooked really fast so he can um have something to eat again before he goes and maybe take something up for sue i am about to tie my hair up for starters and um cook tea i'm gonna make big mac tacos but i'm doing a meals of the week so i might not put much in this video On yourself, on your faith, on your dreams, on your mind, on your health, yeah You gotta work, never tell, keep your head down, find what you love and excel, yeah Push and pull and repel any hate, go create what you want, feel compelled, yeah And once you finally get a taste of the race, you'll never look back once you felt that Don't let somebody take your time and your worth, just focus on yourself first Way before myself, yeah I guess that's why I feel like I go through hell, damn Wasting time on your dreams instead of mine Yeah, about to turn this franchise around on a dime It's a little bit of a mess, but it's coming together I cooked two for Matthews and Joe's I'm doing another one for Joe and another one for Matt I've just sent one up for Joe so we can start eating it now while he finishes work He's only got 20 minutes left got 20 minutes left in work, so I want him to eat before he goes and then I'm going to make one up for soup because I don't want to make too many for that in case it sends a blood sugar's like through the roof. Um, the chips are going in the air fryer now. I always do this. I always forget to put the chips in. So they're having them later than the food. But they're getting fed. That's the main thing. An hour and a half later, I am still here cooking. I'm finally on to mine. Look at the massive pile of dishes I've got to do. But they were delicious. They were delicious, wasn't they? Yeah. So um, I'm going to eat mine and then clean up. Joe is not going to the hospital tonight now. Oh yeah, you're not going tonight now? No, they're going to do the night journey. Yeah, his sister. His sister said she'd go tonight instead. So, so. keep my feet up and I'm going to relax. She's got something on the side of her face that's black. The darling beautiful wife has fed me. No, I'm chilling here. But yeah. I see her because I don't care. It's fine. I couldn't find anybody to go earlier on and then his sister said that she's gone up now and um, they're kicking people off the ward that she's getting kept on at five o'clock and it's already half five so she said she'll just stay as long as she can and then um, Joe can do tomorrow because he's got a day off tomorrow so um, he can go tomorrow throughout the daytime which is good um, she's doing all right she's doing a little bit better but they are keeping her in to monitor um i don't think they should have ever let her go to be honest i did ask her if she discharged herself because she's very known to do that so um but she never so yeah it was a fault on their behalf for discharge you know when she just clearly wasn't ready to come home but yeah what i mean guys mine looks a little sloppy but everybody else's was presented to them lovely but yeah it's basically just a burger with big mac sauce and 
dressing. I haven't tasted it yet, so I can't comment, but everybody else said it's gorgeous. Good with Joe and the kids. Tea was absolutely spot on. Was it actually worth the time it took to make them? No, I don't know. Because we have got so many in our family, obviously, and we made two each. It took some time. But maybe a couple of more frying pans next time, and it might be a little bit more worth it. I think if I add the gherkins and the pickled sauce for inside of my Big Mac sauce as well, it would have been spot on because it tasted almost identical. I never put none of the recipe in this video because I am doing a Meals of the Week, which will probably come in the next week or two. I'm picking a meal from each week, so it's a little different than what we normally do because we've we've done loads of repetitive meals and we've done them before. So there's no point doing it. Ebony, no, not Ebony, Renee and Nevea are being absolutely crazy, but I'd turn the camera around, but Nevea's just in a nappy and a jumper. Joe is painting the skating boards up the stairs, ready for the hall to be decorated since he hasn't gone to the hospital. Boys are just playing on their computers. Ebony's chilling upstairs in her room. She's so happy with her earrings, and Ebony's changed her mind. Ebony's no longer chilling in her room. She's um, playing out. Playing out. Playing out. I'm going to give Sue a call. So I am going to end the video here because there is over 30 minutes of footage already of being editing as a go. Um, and I don't want to put too much up on boys all. So I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give us a huge thumbs up, subscribe and click the notification bell. We upload new videos every Tuesday, Thursday and Sunday. See you again soon. Bye. Six little